Welcome back. We have breaking news in the case of two missing children with ties to the valley. A judge is denying a request to lower the bond for their mother, Lori Vallow Daybell. She's been behind bars since March on charges connected to JJ and Tylee's disappearance from last September. Team 12's Erica Stapleton has been bringing us new information in the case, and she joins us now with those late breaking details. Erica. Guys, first of all, this isn't your typical court proceeding. Take a look at this. There are no family members, just essential court workers and defendant Lori Vallow Daybell, all wearing masks because of the coronavirus. Her attorney actually citing the virus as one of the reasons he wanted her bond lowered. He claims he can't have private conversations with his client in jail under the current conditions. And he also says that Daybell is unemployed and that her husband, doomsday author Chad Daybell, is her sole provider. But with the economic strains from the virus, no one is buying his books. The judge is not buying that argument and is keeping the bond at $1 million. Lori and Chad have only been married a few months after both of their spouses died under suspicious circumstances. They got married after her children, JJ and Ty Lee, disappeared from Idaho in September. Why the sudden marriage to Chad? I can't answer why they got married quick. I don't know if uh, both being able to share that common ground of being um, a recent widow, I don't, I can't speculate. Very recent. It is, it's and a fast, very recent but I widower. can't. I mean, my yeah. lord. That's Lori's niece, Melanie Pulowski, opening up to Dateline's Keith Morrison. She's from Gilbert and will be one of the witnesses called the next time Lori is in front of a judge. You'll see more details on how she's connected to all of this, plus what's next in the case, on 12 News at 6 and 10 o'clock. For now, we're in Phoenix, Erica Stapleton, 12 News.